please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to help support this channel, it won't cost you anything. All you got to do is use the links in the description if you want to get one of these for yourself. Hey, what's going on, Rich? Back with another awesome video for you. So today I'm going to show you how to remove two-sided tape from your car, uh, any kind of sticky tape, automotive grade tape that's holding on badges or emblems or something you stuck on your car, door edge guards, which is what these guys are right here, or if you have to remove uh, down here on the right corner, the body side molding that's on the doors. This is a product from 3M. This is my favorite little hockey puck kind of deal. It spins around really quickly and it just takes all the goo off. It's really amazing. You put this on a cordless drill or a right angle grinder or whatever uh, kind of tool you have to make something spin around. It comes with a shaft that screws into it and you just take it like this and screw it in. If you have some sort of tool where you could screw this into, it is threaded. The easiest way for me to do this, I take it and I put it into my cordless drill. You just open up the chuck, take it and put it in. Tighten it up. And once you have it nice and tight, you take your molding, you get an edge started and you just peel it off all the way down the car. And oddly enough, this one came off pretty easy. The rest of the car really stuck on there good. You take the drill like this, you can see where the tape is, you just spin it. And believe me, this is gonna scare you at first. You're gonna think that this is spinning on the paint is gonna scratch it. This is a really soft rubber and it's not gonna scratch the paint. Trust me, I've done this many times. As long as the car is clean and there's no dirt on it, you're gonna be okay. So what it does is it catches and it kind of runs down the paint if there's nothing on it. If you do it where the two-sided tape is, it's gonna catch it and it's gonna pull it right off. So that's what it looks like. Once you get to that point, you basically can just wipe everything right off. It's a little bit of a pain. So what I like to do is I use this stuff from RapidTac, and this is one of the best companies I've ever found in my life. This is actually used for removing wraps when a car gets wrapped, stickers or decals or stripes on your car. If you have a Camaro with stripes, Mustang, anything, this will take anything off. Give it a good shake and just spray it on. That's it. It's a non-toxic citrus kind of scent. It's really nice. You ever bought a new car and you have the windshield sticker on inside? What a lot of guys do is they take uh, Windex or some kind of cleaning solution and they spray the inside of the window and they scrape it with a razor. You don't even need that with this. Once you get to this point, you just let it sit for a little bit and let it soak. And that is it. Basically just takes everything right off, not a problem. It shouldn't leave any lines once you take the sticky residue off. But just keep in mind, once you take door guards off or edge guards or molding or panels, if the car is older and the sun has been beating on it for a while and you didn't have any kind of protection, what it does is it wears the clear coat around the emblem. So when you take the emblem off, the clear coat around is going to be worn down and the clear coat underneath, obviously, is it's covered. So it's going to be, you know, almost like brand new. So that's just one thing to keep in mind on an older car. You're, you may notice that, but what you could do is you can cut the car with a polisher. You could just polish it down, which I'm going to be doing anyway, and that should fix that. So once you let it sit for a little bit and do its magic and just work and break down whatever's sticky on there, you just take your clean cloth and just wipe it down. You're probably not going to be able to find a little bottle like this. I bought this many, many years ago. Down in the description, I'm going to leave some links for you, all the tools you're going to need. I'm going to go over this whole car with the polisher, and I'm going to cut the car, polish it, and then put some wax on it. So that would be the best thing to do. You know, if you're a detailer and you have access to a polisher, uh, if not, take some rubbing compound. I use Menzerna, and what I would do is I would just take a clean microfiber cloth. I would just polish it by hand a little bit where you did the job, buff it off, and then put a little bit of wax on it, and you're going to be good to go. Thank you so much again for watching this video. I really hope it helped you out. I'm going to leave some links down in the description to all the stuff I use in this video in case you need it. And if you can, make sure to click that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I do some really cool videos. And if you have any questions or comments, as always, I get back to everybody. Let me know down in the section below. Well, thanks so much for watching this video. Take care.